Hi Tony. Hey you looking alright? Yeah. I believe you've responded to our request from our website viewers. Okay. For a recipe for Irish stew. A traditional Irish stew. Proper order. And I have this argument with an awful lot of chefs. They will throw everything and anything into it. There's things, cabbage goes into it, barley goes into it, you name it, alright? But it's not an authentic recipe. This one comes from County Dublin. But this is the real deal. This is the real deal. What do we need? Neck of lamb. Beautiful neck of lamb in it. So you don't have to use neck. You can actually use any cut of lamb you want. Um, I use it because it's authentic. I've got some beautiful lusk potatoes. They'll be just lovely. Pick this morning the way you can still see. They're still damp. They are where I've just washed off the mud. Uh, onion. I have leek. And that comes from my garden. Wow, well done. I have, uh, here we go, white turnip and yellow turnip. And again, that was plucked from the knoll in County Dublin this morning. It's Beautiful. going to be great. And um, I also have carrot. I have my herbs. Parsley from the garden. I know you grow them in your garden. I've yeah, seen them. you've seen that. And the thyme as well. That's from the garden too. Lovely. And finally, I have some lamb stock. That's all you need. Now for those that don't know where to get lamb stock. Use a cube. All the good chefs use cubes. Look at Marco Pierre White. Did you see him on television? He did. Yeah. Well, I can tell you now. He's confessed that, all. That's one of them. Or two of them. Okay. Let's start. Right. Inner lamb goes into the pressure cooker. And I'm going to throw some water in on top of that. And just barely cover it. You don't need a pressure cooker for this. You could do it in a big saucepan, I presume. You could do. You don't need a pressure cooker. The reason I use a pressure cooker because it speeds things up for us. Now the reason why I've got just water over the top of the present moment is because as it cooks it's going to um, give off the skim off any impurities that come to the top. And then we'll add some stock and away we go. Tony, I presume we can be getting on with the veg now. Now we prepare the veg for our stew. Meat doing? Right. Now the meat's had um, about 15 minutes and um, if you look in you Through can actually see right if you look here see along the sides that's actually the scum. Now if this was just boiling normally you would get that uh, on the surface. Thing is if I take those pieces of meat out I'm going to strain the stock that's in there and I'm going to clean the pan out. Right, I've washed the uh, pot out, in the meat goes again, I'm going to pour in this stock. That's the, the water from the boiling of the meat. Well, some that people stock. would call it cooking liquor. Okay. All right. I haven't I've, actually added the stock yet. There's nothing, that's just the, uh, the meat essence, okay. okay? And this is your stock? This is my lamb stock. In go my potatoes goes my vegetables. Try not to miss. <laughs> Gosh, there's just so much goodness going into that sauce. There is. I'm going to put in the thyme on a stove because I'm going to take it out later on. In goes the parsley. Mm, how long will all this cook for, Tony? This will cook. Normally it would take around about an hour and a half to two hours to cook in a normal uh, pan. But as you know, any good stew always tastes better the next day. Ah, oh, the flavors combine. The flavors just come together so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this in the pressure cooker because we don't have that the luxury of all that time. We're and under it, pressure. It'll take us around about 45 minutes to cook once it comes up to the boil. And now we wait again. We have to wait. Really cooked. Oh, I tell you, the aroma is great. Let's I can look. see from here that how soft the meat is. Oh, look, 
beautiful. Just falls apart. Mm. Okay, meat's ready. All I'm going to do is going to leave the lid off for a few minutes, just let that thicken up slightly, and then it'll be ready to serve. My looking. Um, final thing, just take out um, the thyme. If you can find the it. stalks, yeah, oh, I can find it, no worries. Those three pieces went in there, that's one, that's two. And the final bit, ah, there you go. And that's number three. Salt, a bit of pepper. Season to taste. Fantastic meal for the winter. It's gorgeous. It's a great comfort food. I tell you, it reminds me of home. That looks fabulous, Tony. I tell you, and it tastes beautiful as well. So warm. Now, did you bring any bread with you? No, but I'm going to bring some of this home and have it with my bread. Thank <laughs> you.